Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. This week, we're gonna dive into the diagnostics on Garage Ed when it comes to the charging system. And boy, there's a lot of misconceptions out there, and there's a lot of problems with Alternator, man. They're carrying a heavy load, Tom. It all starts with the belt, doesn't it? You got a good story about a belt. I have a full-size Dodge van, and when I turned on the air conditioner, when the alternator cycled, I was hearing noises, squealing, clunks. So I thought I, I, that the vehicle has a lot of miles on it. I thought I need a new alternator, new uh, air, AC compressor. And it turned out the tensioner was just frozen in the full tension position. You think I'm getting loose and floppy as the age, but this is frozen in the full tension position. So it was giving that jerk to the, the accessories when the uh, they cycle on and off. And that'll do it. And a couple of tips for you, I mean, and for our viewers, you know, you can have an over-tightened belt. That's just as bad as a loose belt. Why? Because you're pushing down on that bearing, introducing a lot of heat into the system, and a loose belt, well, obviously it's slipping, we're not charging. Also, some voltage tests we can do. Now, we said in a show before that actually it only produces what the battery needs, right? So we can demonstrate that. We'll go ahead and we'll fire this thing up in a second here, but let's go across the battery. A lot of guys do this right off the bat. You see that the battery has about 12.65. Tom, if you fired up the car, we can see we start charging right there. So we're charging, we're putting it up. That's great. A couple other tests we can make. You can shut it off for a second. A couple other tests we can make is voltage drops, just like we did on that uh, starter system. This is pretty cool. So if you go to the positive side there, and I go to the positive, and once again, we want it to run through, so fire it up. We don't have much of a voltage drop, less than five tenths, that's good. A half a volt is good, all right? Then what I'll do is I'll switch to the negative and you touch the case, and if you touch the case, we have less than a tenth of a volt. So five tenths in the whole system, we're okay there. But if we were dropping voltage, that would be a problem, wouldn't it? Right, that would tell you the, the wiring is frayed, the, the, your grounds are bad, so you're you're not getting the input and output to your alternator that it needs. Exactly, I mean, that's a wiring problem. Now, another test we can do, and this is really cool, Tom, if you would hook it up to the output, we wanna show the amps that this thing's developing because, you know, it may put the voltage out, but it may not be able to put the amps out. So this is an amp test. So if I switch this thing over to amps right here, let me turn it off and on. Okay, over to amps, there we go. And Tom, if you fire it up, but before you do that, I'm gonna sneak behind here and I'm gonna load up that battery and I'm gonna watch how much this alternator outputs. Man, we can almost shut this thing down. Go ahead. So we're producing about 20 amps at idle. I said it only needs what the battery actually, it only put out what the battery needs. Watch this. I start loading up that battery. You hear it singing? shut it off for fixing a blow a fuse. <laughs> Imagine your motor doing that when it's actually loading up on that. I mean, that's not only gas mileage, it's killing the alternator, isn't it? Right. All right, cool. Now there's other components on there. It's called a decoupler pulley and stuff. Tom, you got a lot on Rock Auto. Why don't you get that set up and I'll show our viewers a decoupler pulley. This is important. Now over here I have an alternator that has a decoupler pulley and that's located right here on the top. Now important, if you have a decoupler pulley, you need to replace it with one. If you don't have one, you can't add one because it's part of the accessory belt drive system. And I can show it to you right here. If I pull it off, you look right here. It's located on the top. It's what drives your belt. Now here's a blown out version of it, which is really cool because it's really just an actual second tensioner on there it's spinning and if you have to pull it off you're gonna have to go to rock auto because I got this set right here from rockauto.com and that's gonna pull that decoupler pulley off and separate it from there you can't do it any other way now you can see this alternator is all dirty the mountain bracket could be broken it's all part of the ground system you have to make sure it's grounded you have to make sure it's a good contact to keep your alternators clean or you're gonna have premature failure you're gonna be replacing it way too early now this decoupler's pulley is really cool Tom's got a bunch of them on rock auto let's check it out Tell us about rockauto.com and the decoupler pulleys. Yeah, yeah you, with the new alternators that are producing 200 amps, there's an amazing amount of torque going on that pulley, so you need to absorb some of that tension. You need a clutch to, so it doesn't jerk the, uh, the component, um, jerk the engine. So you have the decoupler pulley. And something to watch for, we, we, we do a, 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 every, twice a month we do a newsletter where we have little tips. And something we did was show, in one of our newsletters, we showed the, uh, for the Ford 4.6 liter, the alternator was put on a lot of different engines over a lot of different model years, and the uh, alternator had the same mounting brackets for, for all the different years. So I have three that all fit, fit the 4.6 liter, but some of them have a decoupler pulley, and some of them don't. If you go to a, a traditional parts store, they may say, hey, this will work. You don't want the one that will just happen to bolt on. You want the one that has the pulley that fits your car. Otherwise, the tension will be wrong. Your check engine light might come on. Your battery won't charge properly. It'll create all sorts of problems. You come right back because there's more Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com right after this break.